Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a DP in the configuration manager. Um, so I have Jesus here. Um, close this. I got too much windows open. So on my server here, I have a C drive and a and the E drive. So I want to prevent any contents to go on a C. I want the data or the content, software contents to be on E only. So in order to do that, I, I cannot put SMS underscore no def moth or something like that. I can I cannot put it on E on C drive because I got my configuration manager installed on C drive. So when what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the DP. <clears throat> right click at site system role. Default that, click next, next. Distribution point, next. I don't need to check this. If if it's if a server is brand new, there's no IIS, I'm gonna check this box. But in this case, I don't need to do that. I'm gonna take HTTP, click next. I'm gonna put it in 50%, uh, 50 megabyte. And the primary content is going to be on E drive. And the primary package share is going to be on E drive. So that means it's not going to put anywhere else besides E drive. Click next. I want to enable Pixies. I don't need to enable the password. That's fine. That's fine. Looks good. And click next. Next. I wanted to validate once a week. So I'm going to do that. Click next. Boundary groups. I want to add the boundary group here. Next. Next. And if you look at the configuration manager um, log files, it should you should be able to find it in the sitecom log or hman log. Let's look at hman log. Okay, nothing much there. Let's look at the sitecom log. It's going to tell you that it's installing the the uh, distribution point. Let's look at the status in the console distribution distribution point configuration status. Here it is. Look at details. I see a lot of progress here. Look like some of the task has been completed. It's in the process of distributing distribute distributing the uh, the two packages. So once you see this green, that means it's going to be successful. So far, so good. I don't have, I don't see any errors yet. So you can check the status here under distribution status and then the distribution point configuration status. That's it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.